Guys, today is Weasley Wednesday and we're gonna keep going with the little series that I have going on on where I show you each bookshelf. And since it's Weasley Wednesday, we're gonna go with none other than my Weasley's section and it's actually two because this one is there's I have so much stuff of the Weasley's Wizard Weasley's shop that I have to go ahead and get two. So let's go ahead and just jump right into the video, shall we? You're a wizard. Yo, what's up guys? My name is Johnny. If you guys are new here, definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Today, we're checking out my Weasley's Wizard Weezes bookshelf. And it's not a whole bookshelf, like obviously you see the whole thing there, but it's a little section of the bookshelf. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and talk to you guys. I've been doing this series now where I show you guys every item that I own in the shelf. So instead of doing like a whole collage of like or a whole video of the whole bookshelf, which I know you guys want to see, but I only do it once a year because I don't want to just keep doing the same video repeatedly. So this is going to be the Weasley's one and we're going to kick start with these two little guys over here. These are the Weasley's Wizard Weasley's bookends. Um, this is the Pastel's Girl and this is Bubble Boy. They are both supposed to basically hold your collection intact and standing up i got these in barnes and noble on a sale i believe each one is 60 dollars if you buy them from the noble collection uh, so together it would be 120 with tax and all of that but i actually got both of them for 60 dollars which is a huge steal it's 50 percent off and i'm just excited that i went ahead and like i calmed down i was like i can't just buy them because $120, that was a lot for me. And yeah, I find I found them at my local, or not local, because it was like very far. Uh, but I found them. I found them in Barnes & Noble, and I did a good little drive, close to like an hour and something minutes away from here. But I have them, and it was definitely worth $60. I was just glad that I didn't, you know, jump on the $120 for both of them, and I just waited a little bit, got the sale, and that's what I recommend mostly like don't just go like all of this wasn't bought in a day or wasn't bought in a year I wait until sales I wait until you know all of that so don't just go ahead and just buy everything you see I mean if you can go for it I'm all for it but that's not what I did this lady right here is just super creepy and I, I love it like every time people come inside and they check these out they're like who the heck is this i have never seen them in the harry potter movies and i'm like you have but just in a bigger version they only well actually i believe this one only uh popped up in a movie like i think 10 seconds something like that these were i want to say my first ever like wizard wheeze now i'm getting them mixed up this was my very first wizard am i like going crazy this is this was my very first Weasley's Wizard Weezes thing in general. I had to take this one out very quickly because I just, you know, it was a Lego set and I'm very careful when I, you know, move this any which way. This is actually part of the Diagon Alley set. This was, it took a while to make, it took too long. It was roughly 6,000 pieces. <clears throat> oh, before I go ahead and keep going these two i actually did a full video and full description and review on these so if you guys want to go ahead and check it out i'll put a little tab right over here and that way you guys go ahead and directly check this video out so without further ado yeah this was roughly six thousand pieces i actually did something horrendous like i bought this one i bought this lego set which was roughly four hundred dollars and I say roughly because it was $400 and I want to make it seem like it's not $400. But yeah, this was $400. And I also bought the other uh, Hogwarts Lego set, like the really big one, for $400 as well. Within the same week, I know, it was, it was horrendous. And I just had like, I couldn't do videos, like I was just completely like overwhelmed by the amount of legos and little blocks this one like i said roughly six thousand pieces the other one six thousand pieces as well so i roughly did within a month twelve thousand pieces of legos i like till this day i don't want to get another lego set unless it's you know something grand and amazing uh, but yeah like these two have done it for me for legos i have a couple of little other lego sets uh, which you guys will see if you guys keep following this series where I, I basically show you and talk about 
all my little sections within my bookshelf. This is obviously Wheezy's Wizard Wheezes. He actually, well, this one doesn't work, but he, you know, moves his hat and everything. You see Fred and George down here. Funny enough, I lied. I'm sorry, guys, I lied. These were not my very first Weasley's Wizard Weezes thing. These two were actually my very first ones. These I got from the Funko um, Christmas, I forgot. But basically a box that you open one each day. And yeah, I got these two, Fred and George, um, going to the Yule Ball. And yeah, those were my very first, like ever. This is the whole shop, guys. This is literally the whole shop. And in the back, you do get to, you know, go inside and it, it took a long time. I'm not even like exaggerating. This took a very long time, a lot of patience, because we're like, oh my God, where's the other piece? And we kept losing pieces and we thought there was missing pieces. The stickers, oh my God. But the final product is amazing, guys. You can see like just the amount of colors and all of that. I love the purple. Um, I love that they added the, the little love potions here. And just like little tiny cool props and items that were in the movie they have two doors the back door and the front door you have Fred and George over here don't know if he's called anything but you do have the whole statue within the front which is super cool this was very very hard to do not hard because it wasn't hard to make Lego blocks and people are gonna think on the internet like you couldn't make Legos no this was not hard to make Legos but it was just very overwhelming the amount of little tiny blocks was just crazy and this one right here chinese fortune sticks the oldest known method of fortune telling in the world for ages eight and up and basically yeah this was actually bought in the weasley's wizard weasley shop in diagon alley and let me see the price here it was $14.95 before the annual pass discount if you guys are an annual pass holder it will be deducted a little bit um, so let's go ahead and check my fortune today. Hopefully it's nothing bad. All right, what does this say? You will suffer through extravagance. What does that even mean? Well, first of all, extravagance is like, I'm guessing splurging and suffering. Uh, you already lost me at suffering. Let's go ahead and let's forget that one. Let's go ahead and try to get another one because that was just... Oh my god. You will surely make a new friend to your great advantage. If you guys want to be friends with me, because you know my fortune says that a good friend's gonna pop up sooner or later, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. My name is The Collecting Wizard, just like my channel name, and DM me. We will be very good friends. All right, now let's take out everything else so that way I could just line them up here and show you guys everything. I have a feeling like everything is not gonna fit just because i don't know so here's the extendable ear i'll talk to you guys a little bit about that later and of course you guys saw the screaming yo-yo i just did a video on that so if you guys want to go ahead and check that video out it's in my channel the decoy detonator spray right, right over here the fanged flyer you guys have seen this did a whole unboxing oh my god this is not gonna fit in the whole thing okay let's just put this back here as a backdrop boom and boom always thinking and this is it for everything okay so it's quite a lot you guys can see it's a lot all right so let's start with the let's just start all the way over here all right so this is the extendable ear i have not opened this this still has the tape and everything i haven't opened this just because I'm, i don't think i'm ever gonna use this maybe if i ever have a child that wants to go ahead and play with this i will but yeah this is ages five and up earphone included so here you guys go you guys have seen this in the movie for sure this was one of the big scenes that um they went ahead and tried to like basically hear what the order of the phoenix was talking about in 12 grimold place but basically it's a humongous ear and it actually has it actually works my friend over at geo jammies told me it actually works because she she has kids and all of that so they actually just wanted to rip through it and see if it actually worked so yes 100 percent it works so thank you carla for that information and yeah you have like an actual earbud that you actually put in your ear and let me see here oh here here you go yeah you can tell i haven't even opened this speaker in ear 
magnifies nearby sounds. So basically, yeah, you put it in your ear and you leave the actual humongous ear somewhere, which is pretty cool. I want to know how long the wire is to see if you can actually do what they did like in the movie, where they just like hang it from like the second floor all the way down and stuff like that. That'd be pretty cool. It extends 12 feet. Okay, there you go. Johnny, just read. It extends 12 feet with easy to use listening device. There you go. All I had to do was just read. All right, so let me put this like right here. Okay. All right, and you guys have seen this already. This is the Cycling Dolores Umbridge. You turn it on and watch Umbridge go. Basically, you guys have seen this in the movie, but in the movie, the size is like this big. Um, you could only see that one, the realistic one that um, they have in the movie over at Diagon Alley in the, Wiz the Wizarding World of Harry Potter in Orlando. This used to be sold, but it has since been discontinued in the Wizarding World. Like, they don't sell them anymore. It's unopened, still has the tape and all. It used to sell for $19.95. Obviously, I did not get it for $19.95. I got it for a lot more because it was discontinued at the time. Well, it still is discontinued at the time. And I forgot how much this was. Oh, $25. Okay, so the extending uh, the extendable ear was $25 before the annual pass discount. Uh, I'm trying to give you guys the, the exact price. So that way, if you guys want to go ahead and get it in the parks, you guys already know more or less what the price is. Also, I forgot this Chinese fortune. I, I think I told you, yeah, $14.95. All right, so the decoy detonator I actually got in the wizarding world of Harry Potter and Weasley's Wizard Weezes. They actually still, to this day, sell this, which is really cool. Uh, and yeah, it's a decoy detonator. It actually, you know, sounds and all of that, just like in the movie. So yeah, just like in the movie. Um, and yeah, you just put on batteries and it just goes. And you could like twist you I, I thought you know this is rookie mistake but I was turning twisting this in the top because it actually has like a little twisty thing but yeah just like you saw all you gotta do is just push it back and it will start running here we have the chattering teeth from Weasley's Wizard Weezes and it literally does what it says you wind it and so yeah it actually chatters and yes I took this one out of the box just because it's a chattering teeth it wasn't gonna be anything crazy and it was only seven dollars it's actually six ninety five to be exact before the annual pass discount everything that I see here and I'm gonna be disclosing the price of is gonna be before annual pass discount all right so they do still sell that in Diagon Alley in the wizarding uh, world of Harry Potter over at Universal Studios now this one, Screaming Yo-Yo. When I did the Screaming Yo-Yo video, I did not know, and I'm very sorry, so I'm gonna say it right now. I did not know that you could actually purchase this online in their store. So you could actually purchase this right here in the official Universal Studios store. Right now, as you guys are watching the video, one of my close friends told me, no, it's actually there, it's just hidden and not that many people could see it. So yeah, I still bought it through Amazon. So it wasn't that big of a difference. I believe it was like a dollar, two dollars difference, but I would end up paying more taxes in the parks anyway, so it would equal out. And I forgot the price. It doesn't say the price on this, but I completely forgot, so sorry. If you guys uh, wanted to know the price, it's not that big of a jump. It's probably like the same thing as the Chattering Teeth, around seven to eight dollars. Um, but yeah, you could actually purchase this on line if you guys can't go to the theme parks and it's really cool i i don't know if you guys have ever heard it like uh, actually i'll just do it so that way you guys can see it hopefully you know i'm not i'm not the best yo-yoer but hopefully i can get it you know hopefully i can do it and grab it that'll be really cool oh i did it dude i'm i'm becoming the best yo-yo Peep, I don't know. I don't even know what they're called. What are they called guys? Write it in the description. Are they called yo-yoers or the yo-yo squad? I don't know what people who yo-yo professionally are called. I hope you guys heard that because it actually screams. So the screaming yo-yo literally screams. And pff, you saw that. One take. One take. I didn't have to do it again. It's amazing. The last one for my Weasley's Wednesday series special. 
that was a mouthful. My fangs fly over here and it's quite literally a rubber, yeah, I wanna say like a rubbery toy, basically is like, is literally a toy. This is actually discontinued. You can see them actually like in person in Filch's Emporium over at Hogsmeade section in Islands of Adventure or you could go into Diagon Alley in Weezy's Wizard Weezes and it's actually hidden in the back, it's locked so you can't really like touch it but you can see it. It's really cool and yeah, it's discontinued and I'm very excited that I have one and I own it um, and it comes with this box. I actually did a video on this as well so if you guys want to go ahead and check this out, it came with like a whole glove and everything. I'm going to go ahead and put like the... I'm going to go ahead and put a little tag up here so that way you guys can go ahead and check it out as well. It was super cool when I opened it. It's just awesome. So yeah, I believe that is everything for Weasley's Wednesday. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I did. I love watching everything like just in front of me. I just love, you know, finally taking them all out and showing you guys everything about my Weasley's section in my bookshelf. So without further ado, I love you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, smash that like button down below and if you guys are new hi my name is johnny i go by the collecting wizard and i talk about everything harry potter and theme park related content on a daily basis without further ado i love you guys and i'll see you guys on next week